the British government announced it has recognised more vaccine formulations. Travellers coming from countries with the UK-approved vaccination can skip quarantine upon arrival. However, travellers from India will still be considered unvaccinated by the British government. In this video, we talk about the countries with recognised vaccination certificates. Find out if you can skip quarantine when you arrive in the UK. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate, your likes, and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure, or already on one, and would like some assistance. The UK government last week announced a major relaxation of international travel rules for vaccinated people coming in and out of England, with long-haul routes between India and the UK set to benefit. From 4 October, the current UK traffic light system of red, amber, and green countries, based on levels of COVID-19 risk, will be scrapped and replaced with one red list only. The scrapping of an amber list, which is what India is currently on, means a reduced cost burden for travellers, in terms of PCR tests, and quarantine measures. However, an expanded list of countries, whose vaccines are recognised in England, does not include India, which means that Indians vaccinated with Covishield would still be required to undergo a pre-departure PCR test and further tests on arrival in the UK. The United Kingdom has finally approved Covishield in a revised travel advisory. According to the UK government, formulations of the four listed vaccines such as AstraZeneca Covishield, AstraZeneca Vaxaviria, and Moderna Takeda, qualify as approved vaccines. However, this does not mean that Indians will not have to quarantine for 10 days. That rule still stays. So even if you are vaccinated with both doses of Covishield, you will have to quarantine for 10 days upon arrival in the UK. According to the UK government, there is an issue with vaccine certification. The UK only recognises vaccine certificates from specific countries with relevant public health bodies. Unfortunately, India is not on this list. The 18 countries currently on the UK government's approved inbound vaccinations list, besides the US and Europe include, Australia, Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Bahrain, Brunei, Canada, Dominica, Israel, Japan, Kuwait, Malaysia, New Zealand, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan and the United Arab Emirates. Indian travellers, despite being on the amber list, will have to undergo a 10-day quarantine because of this. The vaccine certification issue seems to be the main problem. India has earlier protested against the disapproval of Covishield vaccines by the UK government. Foreign Secretary Harshvardhan had earlier said that the UK's non-recognition of the Covishield vaccine is discriminatory and hinted that reciprocal measures might be taken. What are your thoughts on this issue? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. 
For visa advice, contact your IM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.